So I'm just going to quickly review the two stretches that we did the other day. First one was, or the first one was for your hamstrings, and then the second one we're going to do was for your hip flexors. So with the hamstrings, we were at your stairwell. You held on to your banister. You made sure the standing leg was going to have its foot perfectly straight, which was that middle. The your second toe has a line. Pull it over. Your, your second toe has a line straight through to the heel, and then you just rest your foot up on the step, right? So you're standing nice and straight. You should feel a stretch from your sits bone to your heel, and you just stand, hold on to the banister for balance. When this gets to where you don't feel a stretch, you're trying to lean forward. But if you notice, I'm leaning forward at my hip, right? So I'm not leaning, I'm not bending forward. I'm sticking that butt out and, and pulling out a stretch, right? So you don't go very far because this is actually a really good stretch right now. So I want you to hold that for about 30 seconds. You do one leg and then the other. So the other one I showed you for your hip flexor, um, that wasn't the kneeling one because that was too painful for you. The, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the other one was where you were going to hold on to the bar or something else for stability. So you step that foot back and then you raise your arms. You should feel a good, strong stretch right here. And then back down, bring that foot forward. Again, you'll step back, arms go up, and then hold on to the railing for balance. If you don't need it, that, you know, if you can do this safely, then that's the goal, right? The goal is to just have you step back. So that's what it looks like from the front, just so that you can kind of see what it looks like from the side. It's just stepping back, right? So you try not to let that knee go past your toe and just nice and up, right? Because that could get you a good stretch here. All right. I hope that helps.